Whew. So every two years, Raspberry Pi releases its new operating system based on Debian. So previously, back in 2019, they released Buster, and after two years, in 2021, they released the new operating system called as Bullseye. And in this video, I'll let you know everything about what are the major updates that come with the new operating system as compared to the previous version, Buster. And in the end, I'll also guide you with how to install this new OS on your Raspberry Pi board. So this is kind of an all-in-one video for the new Raspberry Pi OS. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGET and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features, real-time cost estimations and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM Designer software. Now talking about the updates, then majority of the updates are under the hood which are not at all visible to the end user which includes the patches and upgrades to the existing applications and features. So ultimately it will become more reliable with its new versions coming up. But along with this under the hood updates, we do have some visible changes in this new operating system. Let's start with the first feature which is the notifications. So this is the very first time Raspberry Pi introduced the notification feature in which you will get the notification whenever you, you know, kind of insert or remove any USB drive or rather the most interesting feature is you'll get a notification whenever there is any update uh, there is need to be installed on your computer maybe it's related to package maybe it's related to any software anything so that's a nice update so now no longer need to do that apt get update and apt get upgrade you'll get a proper notification just click on that click on install and it will install all the major all the major or required updates so Using this feature or with the help of this feature, a non-tech guy can also start using a Raspberry Pi board as a daily driver, as a desktop computer. So this is a nice UI feature added. Moving on to the next update, then they have upgraded the GTK Plus version 3. So previously they were having version 2. Now the question is like, what is this GTK and what is this version 2 and 3 difference between you? Okay? So GTK Plus is a layer of software that application uses to draw widgets like menus, buttons and stuff like that. And this is responsible to make a consistent look for all the applications. So let me show you a window open in the buster and the bullseye so here as you can see there's a visible difference in the buttons or the menus you can say okay so there is a, a change in the ui and the new ui feels more new generation not the latest generation but new generation uh, as compared to the buster version okay so this is happening just because of the gtk plus 3 okay now the next major update is coming inside the window manager so previously they were using the open box window manager and right now in the new os they are using the uh, windows manager called as mutter and there are a lot of changes inside this mutter application it has some uh, plus point and then minus points as well let's talk about the plus point so using this mutter window manager uh you can you will get the opening and closing animation of the windows like let me show you so these kind of animations you will get inside the new os thanks to the mutter window manager this feels like a modern day computer and not only that here's one slight change uh, like slight visible change as well if I open two windows, as you can see, the window on the top has a shadow at the corner, okay? Now, this kind of feature is available inside the Mac OS and this feature is added into this Raspberry Pi OS as well. That's a little change, but it makes uh, the computer feels like a modern day computer, okay? So, this all is happening with the help of the Mutter Window Manager. Now, the negative point of this Mutter Window Manager is that as it need to perform these many tasks, it requires a basic amount of RAM. So it is suggested to install the new version on your Raspberry Pi board which has more than 2 GB of RAM. So your board should at least have 2 GB of RAM then only this operating system will work perfectly, okay? In my case, I'm using my uh, Raspberry Pi 4B with the 4 GB variant in which I installed this particular OS. So that's the negative point. It requires uh, like uh, a bit of bit more of RAM, you can say, okay? Now the last update, but really not the least is the video and the camera driver. So earlier the video and the camera driver were closed source uh, means it is dedicatedly made for Raspberry Pi boards only, okay? But now they have shipped it to the open source video and camera driver. Now, how it will be beneficial for us? 
well uh, what happens is like as it is an open source it will use the same uh, linux api or rather the driver made for any linux system will work on the raspberry pi board as well earlier we had to develop the dedicated raspberry pi driver but now it's not like that any uh, generic linux driver uh, will work inside the raspberry pi board as well so that's a really great update and as it's an open source so third party uh, developers are welcome to use their apis to develop some video and camera related stuff so that's a really great update coming from the new OS this the uh, Red Bull no it's a bull's eye <laughs> So yeah, this is the latest OS. Now the question is how to install this into our uh, Raspberry Pi board. Yeah, let me show you the steps. So first of all, we need to download the image file of the latest Raspberry Pi OS. And for that, you need to go to this official Raspberry Pi website. And here is the OS of the Bullseye version, okay? So here are the three variant. One is the light variant that comes with the, without user interface, then the desktop version with the user interface, and with the desktop and recommended software means it's like full package of that uh, OS, okay? So I have downloaded this particular file, but you can download this as well. And I recommend you to download the desktop version because this new OS comes with some UI changes this as well so it will be a better user experience if you download this particular os okay so uh, you just need to click on the download button it will start downloading the os file now it's a quite a big file so i already downloaded it previously so i'll stop downloading here okay after downloading you just need to open the sd card formatter now don't worry i'll be attaching the uh, links of all the softwares i'm using down in the description of this video okay so here just select the sd card that you have inserted let me just remove and insert it again Okay, so here you have to select this SD card that you have inserted and after that just click on the format button. Click on continue, it will ask for the password and done. So we have successfully formatted this SD card. So now we need to burn the image file and for that we will be requiring a software called as Raspberry Pi Imager. Here just click on choose OS, go to the last option use custom OS and select the image file that you have downloaded. After that just click on the open button. Here you have to select the SD card, which is this particular path and just click on the right button. Click on yes. Now we need to enter the password again. And yeah, we are done. So these are the steps you need to do to, you know, upload or rather burn the image file or the OS file onto the SD card. So it will take some time to write the image onto the SD card and to verify these as well. So I'll quickly fast forward this video. Okay, so the new Raspberry Pi image is successfully flashed and verified by this Raspberry Pi image. Just click on continue and we are done. Now we can easily remove this SD card. And now let's just insert this SD card onto the Raspberry Pi and let's boot up our Raspberry Pi with the new OS. Okay. Okay, so after inserting the SD card inside the Raspberry Pi, it's got successfully booted up and here it shows one window which says welcome to Raspberry Pi, uh, welcome to Raspberry Pi desktop and before you start, uh, here are the few things to set up. So let's just press next here. Uh, so here it says it's to choose the country. So I'll select my country here, which is India. Okay, after that, I'll select the language here, which will be English. Okay, so it has some local languages as well. Wow, that's nice. But let us go for English as of now. Okay, and time zone will be uh, Calcutta or Delhi, it doesn't matter. Okay, great. Okay, so after that, I'll click on next here. It is setting the location. Uh, we have to type the password here. I'll keep it Raspberry Pi only. I'll select next here. Searching for the networks. Let us connect it with my Wi Fi router here. It's the SMS GeoFi. Click on next. And I already entered the password here. Click on next. It's connecting to the Wi Fi network. Okay, perfect. So it says update software. So well, let's skip it as of now. I don't want to update any software as of now and click on done. And we are done with installing the new and the latest Raspberry Pi bulls eye onto our Raspberry Pi 4 board. So yeah, that's how you can easily install and get started with the new Raspberry Pi Bullseye operating system. And that was it about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got to learn something new from it. Well, I personally think that Raspberry Pi is moving towards replacing the desktop computer. And with this new OS, they are getting way closer to that. So in future, <laughs> I'm sure we won't be getting those basic desktop computers, rather we'll be moving on to the Raspberry Pi, that is for sure, because they are working on the hardware and they're working on the operating system as well. That's my thought. Do let me know in the comments if you agree with my thoughts or not. And that being said, 
I'm just ending this video here and now. Just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me. Taggy SMS.